step one here is um, the, uh, we're going to have a quick look at dev dependencies without actually doing the installs. Let's assume that you would already have those, but just in case there are any questions around that, I'll, I'll flick up on the screen the, the websites for uh, those. Now, the, the main three are uh, Node, JS, uh, NPM, Node Package Manager, Manager. Those are actually installed together. And uh, Visual Studio Code, which we'll be using here. You don't need to use Visual Studio Code. Um, you can choose another interactive development environment. Um, all right, so first of all, Node is uh, and these links will be shared outside of the video, but you can probably just about see it there. We've got um, this is the Node homepage basically, and if you're on a Windows machine, you want to use the uh, Windows installer, 64 bit, typically 32 bit is pretty useless these days. Um, that installer will install, uh, download on your machine, then just obviously just click through it, selecting the defaults that will install both Node and NPM. Um, and then Visual Studio will take a bit longer to, to run through the install. Here is the link for that one. Uh, Again, we'll share this out of the, the video. Download for Windows there. If you're on a Mac or using Linux, you can you can use those installers instead. Same process, download it and then in, install it through the steps. OK. Um, the next step here is we're going to clone. This is really key because we you need a boilerplate for building most apps. We've got one here that um, quite nicely sets up integration with serverless. Lambda, uh, obviously there's further steps that we'll go through for that. Um, and we're going to use that repo now on, it's, it's hosted on at GitHub. This is the link here. Um, and you can see here there's a whole bunch of dependencies, uh, YAML file that we're going to edit, serverless YAML file is probably the main uh, script that we need to edit for this. All right, so you can see at the top here, you've got this blue button, use this template. If you click on that, um, create create a, a new repo. Now, this is going to basically, it's just going to do a fork, um, which is distinct from a clone, is basically, it's going to fork it into your own GitHub account uh, and, and copy the code basically. So um, what we're going to do here, this is, we call it React. Lambda, AWS, Gloy. Um, we're going to keep it uh, as public for now. Okay, uh, you can put up and make sure you put in the, the repo name with no spaces up there. The description of, of put here can have spaces, obviously. Um, so you might want to elaborate a little bit there with um, serverless. Deploy of the React JS app with AWS Lambda. OK, create repo from template. All right, so you've got that forked on your GitHub account, but actually we want to copy locally, and this is a clone basically we want to do so. Because we've forked it, we can now go and grab the click one code, copy this URL. Um, we're going to go to a suitable folder on our drive um, where we want to create a local copy of this. Okay, and then just um, open terminal. All right. 
So make sure you're opening terminal at the, the folder location that you want to undertake uh, the, the local development. And then we've got to clone that. Get clone. Now there is another dependency here. You may have noticed get. Um, we'll come back to that at the end, but essentially you need get as well. OK, and that's pretty quick. It will install. Uh, copy, sorry, uh, your newly fought code to your local. In my case, there it is there. All right, so. That's it, that is step two basically done. Um, we want to get this up and running locally. So step three is to install the app dependencies, mostly related to serverless and uh, node dependencies. OK, so the best thing to do is to basically open this folder that we've created in Visual Studio Code. We've you know, installed that. And that is basically where we want to. Work for the most of the remainder of this um, demo. You can see here I've got Visual Studio Code on my uh, taskbar. So I'm going to close this terminal. Open up Visual Studio Code. OK, we want to open the folder we've just created, the local folder. There it is there, and you can start, you can see all the scripts appear on the left hand side. Yes, we trust the author of those. And we, now that we're in Visual Studio Code, we can use the inter, integrated terminal there. Use a shortcut or just open new terminal. Just check it is opening up at that folder that we've just created. And the install uh, app dependencies we can do using Node, Package Manager, NPM, or you can use Yarn. Uh, we use NPM here. OK, that will take a few minutes. And once this is done, we're going to do another install, which it should be a lot shorter. Um, essentially, where we install serverless. Um, so you can see that's done. Okay, npn install g serverless. Now, you, you may get an error with this command here, which might be uh, related to your execution policy ad, admin rights, essentially. What you can do, because uh, we need to be able to do that step, if you see that error, is run this command. I'm not going to run it because I don't need to, but this will override your default execution policy and allow you to execute that um, serverless install. OK. Um, if if you do do that step, you can actually do afterwards this command serverless. Version and that, that should tell you uh, the version that's been installed. Obviously, if there's still an error, that will throw another error. But it should be fine once you've overrided the execution policy. OK, now we've done all the installs. That was step three, um, but just one last minor check before we move on to. Um, checking, you know, how this 
app is doing. I go to our YAML file here, which thinks essentially does all the config. OK, you see at the top here, we've got a service name. This at the moment says serverless react boilerplate. OK, so we zoom in a little bit here. Uh, under view appearance, uh, you can see this shortcut there is control plus equals. Yeah, OK, it's a bit better. So we're going to change the name of the app. This is the name that is going to appear on AWS to um, React Lambda AWS. Again, recommend using dashes. Generally on cloud, it works better than whether it's AWS, Azure, or TCP, the three big cloud service providers. Um, that works well enough. No spaces. Um, and that is uh, we're essentially ready to go ahead uh, and do the cloud deployment. But first of all, we probably want to just check um, if you save that first of all, Control S. We want to check how this is running locally, and we can do that by just doing npm start. If you scroll up uh, a bit, you can see where it's deployed to on your uh, local drive there. So you, you basically just want to click on that link. And what you should see is this. This is you know, create React app standard boilerplate. So we've got it running locally. Next step is to go and do that cloud deployment. All right, so we've done steps one, two, and three, and we're going to move on to this next step now. 